Hello and welcome to this video tutorial of AutoCAD 2018. So today we will be reviewing the extrude and press pull command. So I'll start by drawing just a couple of circles, something simple. And then I'll copy this over. I'll use a copy command. Select the base plane. And paste the heater, for instance. So now, if I use the extrude command, I can only either extrude this circle or that circle. So let's say I'll show you visually what I mean. So I can only click on one or another. So let's say that I only wanted I wanted this to be a hollow pipe. So I've got the first cylinder that I extruded and the second one. So I can always use a subtract command and say, okay, I want to keep this one, enter, and now I want to subtract that one a bit, enter. So now as you can see, I subtracted one from the other. Um, I'll now be, will be showing you the press pull command. Oops. So it allows you to select an entire area and press pull it all the way up. So it saves you from having to use a subtract command um, to do the same operation. So I will now be showing you um, some things to bear in mind when you want to um, create solids by using the um, press pull and extrude commands. So I'm going to start by drawing a few lines. I'm going to draw um, something like a square. And I'm going to copy it across. Okay, so let's say what we'll do with the first one, I will join it. So I'll use join command. And now, if you select it, you can see that this one is joined. So if I right click and go on properties, or alternatively, you can use control 1 to open the properties menu. Um, here you can see that it is closed. So I'll show you what would happen if um, this one was not closed. I will copy it once again. We'll have a copy of it. Just in case. So that one is clearly open. It would be hard to tell that it's open if you look at it from, from this distance. So if I now join it, if I now hit control one and select it, even though that it looks like it's closed, it's telling me no, it's not closed. So if we want to extrude this, so if I go on the extrude command and select the first one, as you can see, it has no problem extruding it. 
if I try to extrude the same, as you can see, it's coming up hollow. So it is not a real extrusion. What what we're doing instead of um, extruding the um, the profile up. We're only extruding the line separately, so what we get is surfaces. So if I hover over this one, the menu comes up and it says 3D solid. You can clearly see it. However, in this one, it comes up as a surface. So you'll encounter this issue when your profile is not closed or when you forget to join the lines, because this one it is it is indeed closed, but I haven't joined my lines. So if I now try to um, extrude them, I'll have the same issue. So you always have to make sure that your sketch is joined, but also closed, that there are no gaps. Um, it is normally better to solve it manually, however, you can always, um, here in the properties, you can always um, click on the drop down menu and select yes, and then it will close it for you. So when you try to extrude it, now it is completely fine. So this is something to bear in mind because um, sometimes, let's say, If I use the um, the patch command here and patch all of this, so sometimes you may have something that looks like a solid, however, it is hollow. So what happens when you try to use the subtract command and you try to subtract um, subtract something like this from a real solid and um, AutoCAD won't let you um, perform the operation because you can't really um, subtract surfaces from solids because all of this is clearly void. So you always have to make sure that um, you are either working with surfaces or working with solids because um, you won't be able to subtract um, a surface from a solid or or trim um, or trim a surface um, using a solid etc so let's say that you want to carry out an operation like I don't know you have you want to have a little recess in a part like this or similar so if you now use the press pull command You can select this area, as you can see. Now you can bring it down by a distance, and it will open the recess. However, sometimes you may experience um, difficulties using the press pull command for um, these type of operations. So you will have to. Um, you will have to do it in a different way that is maybe um, a bit more long-winded but you will get the same end result so what we'll do I will select the solid place it in a different layer turn the layer off and now we'll do everything manually so for instance let's say that you want your recess to be um, 10 mil I would extrude um, this one down by 10 mil. Then I will do the same with this one. Again, 10 mil. And now what you can do, you can say, okay, um, I'm going to use the subtract command. I want to keep this one, so I'll select it, press enter, and I want to subtract this one of it. Select it, press enter, okay. So now I've got the main part that I want to subtract of the of the bigger part, of the solid. So now if I turn my layer back on, 
Now I can use the subtract command again. I can select my object, that, the one that I want to keep, press enter. Select the other one. Press enter. Um, that's it. You've got the same, um, the same result. So this is the way to do it when your press pull command is not working because you will find quite often that AutoCAD, um, when you use a press pull command, it does struggle to recognize and very small areas. So, or very complicated profiles. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.